I'm Jay Famiglietti. Uh, I am the senior water scientist at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory at Caltech in, in Pasadena, California. And I am the incoming director of the Global Institute for Water Security and the incoming Canada 150 research chair in hydrology and remote sensing. My research group uses satellites and develops computer models to track how fresh water availability is changing all over the world. The dry areas of the world are getting drier, the wet area is getting wetter. Um, the severity of, the, uh, of flooding is increasing, so we're seeing more extreme extremes, more severe drought, punctuated by shorter period but, but heavier, heavier rainfall. That's not, that's not changing. Uh, what can change is the way that we manage our, our water around the world. We need to manage it holistically. We need to consider surface water availability, which is renewable, uh, versus groundwater storage, which in many cases is not renewable. You know, we need to consider these things together to manage for the, for the long terms. It's too late for climate change, right? Climate change is, is happening. We're not going to change climate change, but we can manage our way to a sustainable water future. I'm a committed hydrologist and science communicator, and that's something that I think has really come out because of my California experience, because of you know, living in a, in a region that is super water stressed. Jay Falmayetti. Jay. As scientists, we have a responsibility to communicate uh, the more compelling aspects of, of what we do. Not everybody wants to hear about some new computer model that we built, but people really want to understand what's happening in this video that's cycling behind me and what, you know, what's happening with California and why is, why is that happening. So the communication part is, has become very important to me. First of all, I'm looking forward to getting back into the classroom, and I'm looking forward to working directly with graduate students. So in my time at NASA, those are two things that I haven't been able to do, and, and I really miss those things. So I'm really committed to training the next generations of, of graduate students and, and young researchers to, to get out there and really work on these issues of, of global water security. I'd really like to work hard on putting the G in the Global Institute for Water Security. My predecessor, Howard Weider, has done a fantastic job founding the institute and, and building it up, making a major investment, uh, uh, hiring numerous uh, faculty participants and getting a very vibrant research program going. And so now I'd like to build on that and, and take, that, take that message of the challenges to water security and start visiting some of these hot spots for water scarcity around the world to reach out globally and really understand the forces that are threatening global water security is something that I'm really excited about. I was uh, incredibly shocked to be notified <laughs> that I was selected as a, as a Canada 150 chair because I know how selective the program is. You know, because it's really a, a federal program, I hope that means that I can begin important dialogue in Ottawa and I hope that uh, also at the provincial level uh, that I'll be able to have important dialogue. Canada has just done a tremendous job investing in, in science and engineering uh, and in particular in water. And so the vision that the, that the nation uh, is, is putting forward is uh, it's very clear and they're putting the resources behind it to, to make it happen. And so that's what we're seeing with the, with the Global Institute. I mean, the amount, of, um, the amount of investment that has been made in the U of S and the Global Institute for Water Security is greater than any other hydrology program um, in the world. <laughs>